Hi y'all, this is Vanessa with The Hideaway Homestead. And I'm here in the kitchen with you today. We're gonna make some strawberry sponge cakes. So when I was a kid growing up, we would normally have strawberry shortcakes, but shortcakes are actually biscuits. Um, and we would actually go to the store and buy those little round sponge cakes that you get in the bakery at the grocery store and put our strawberries with the sugar on them and just put some whipped cream on, uh, or Cool Whip, I guess is what I mean. But today we're gonna go ahead and make our cake from scratch with ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. And then we'll mix up the strawberries with the sugar and then we'll make our whipped cream from scratch and we'll show you how simple and easy that is to make with just three ingredients. If y'all enjoy watching our videos, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you hit the notification bell as well you'll be notified every time we post new videos every Thursday and if you enjoy watching our videos here in the kitchen please hit like and let's get started. So the first part that we want to start with are our strawberries and we're going to get those cut up. I normally like to take the core out and we will save that part for the chickens later. And I just like to order mine up. They don't have to be perfect. I just want them to be bite sized. And I'm probably going to cut up about three to four cups of the strawberries and then we'll get our sugar mixed in. I'm finished cutting up our strawberries so I'm going to go ahead and put them into a small to medium sized bowl and we want to add about two to three tablespoons of sugar. I've already measured mine out for three tablespoons. And we just want to give that a quick stir so that all the strawberries are coated. And you're going to want to put this in the fridge while you bake your cake and get your whipped cream mixed up. And by that time, the sugar should have dissolved and let out the juices from the strawberries and it will be super yummy. I could eat all of them without any cake or whipped cream or anything, but I'll go ahead and get that in the fridge. For our second part, we wanna go ahead and make our sponge cake. So I went ahead and preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I already prepped my pan. You wanna use an eight inch square pan. Um, you can use a metal pan, Pyrex, glass dish, whatever you have on hand is fine. I did go ahead and grease the pan and put in a piece of parchment paper and greased it again. So it's best to use the parchment paper with this cake. So when you go to pull it out of the pan after it's cooled, it's just going to come out much easier without falling apart on you. So to start mixing up the cake, I'm going to go ahead and crack two eggs. And we are going to beat these in the mixer for about three minutes or until they start to get thick and lemon colored. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the wire whisk and then I'll switch to my regular um, beater. I'm gonna go ahead and use the KitchenAid mixer today just to make it a little bit easier, but I've mixed the cake up with that hand before, no problem. And you're gonna to wanna to do this on a pretty high speed. So uh, during those three minutes, we're gonna gradually add in one cup of sugar and that will help it get thickened up.
then we're done mixing up our eggs and our sugar. Now we wanna go ahead and mix up our dry ingredients. So we're gonna take one cup of flour, all-purpose flour, and I want one teaspoon of baking powder, and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I just want to give that a quick whisk. And I'm going to switch out my whisk in the mixer. And I'm going to go ahead and put my regular beater on. And this one just has the, the rubber piece that's the bowl scraper. And we're going to gradually add that into the wet ingredients just until it's um, combined. So for the last part of our cake, we're going to warm up a half a cup of milk and one tablespoon of butter just until the butter starts to melt. So I'm just gonna wait until the butter is completely melted into the milk. It looks like our butter is pretty much all melted, so I'm gonna turn the burner off and I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract then we'll be ready to mix these wet ingredients in with the rest of our cake mix. We're just going to slowly pour this in as we stir it into the cake. get our cake batter into our cake pan and this is going to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean just like you would with any other cake. I'm going to give this a quick stir on the bottom because sometimes I feel like my mixer mix misses the very bottom there. It looks like and it is runny and it is meant to be that way. It will bake just fine. So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. Again, it's going to be 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. So we're ready to make our last component of our strawberry sponge cake, and that's going to be our whipped cream. So we have chilled our uh, mixing bowl and our wire whisk for our mixer for about 10 minutes or so. You want to make sure everything's really cold when you go to mix up your whipped cream. So I'm gonna go and get that out of the freezer. So you wanna go ahead and start with one cup 
of whipping cream or heavy cream. And I'm gonna just pour that in. And we'll get our whisk on. And we're gonna beat this at high speed for a few minutes. And we're gonna do that until we see it start to thicken up and just before heavy peaks start to form. And we'll show you what that looks like. So we're starting to see the heavy peaks start to form with the whipped cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in two tablespoons of powdered sugar. And we need one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're gonna get this going again just until it gets real good and thick and that will be it. and you don't wanna let it go too long or it will start to get kind of curdled and not have that nice whipped cream consistency. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer this to a bowl and we're gonna pop it in the fridge and wait for our cake to come out of the oven. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check our cake. It's been about 25 minutes. I find with these metal pans, they cook a little bit quicker than in the Pyrex dishes. And it comes out clean, so we're good to go. And we're just gonna let this cool for about 10 minutes, and then we'll take it out of the pan and let it finish cooling the rest of the way. All right, so we have all the components of our strawberry sponge cake ready to go. Our cake is cooled, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Um, I'm probably just gonna cut it into like nine pieces and then we can cut it in half and get it topped up. So you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, you normally just take a piece of the cake, cut it in half, and you could just do one section like that, um, or you can go ahead and layer it up. And you can see our strawberries. There's no sugar crystals left. It's all syrupy and liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that onto our first layer. And we like a lot of strawberries. And then you can go ahead and add the top. And add a few more strawberries and our whipped cream. And that's it. So what do you think, Miss Clara? Very good. What about you, Mr. Thomas? I like it. It's my favorite strawberry food. Yeah. Mike? Oh, you know I like it. This ain't gonna last very long. We know Daddy's favorite part is the whipped cream, yet? Mm-hmm. It's really good. So there you have it, y'all. A super simple summer dessert strawberry sponge cake. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, and if you wanna see more, subscribe to our channel, The Hideaway Homestead, and we will see you next week. And remember, when you're not in the kitchen, make time for dirt time. Can I carry it? Yeah. I like hot water. Cheers. Why just let them away? You want to hold it so they'll come up and eat it? They normally do with the green stuff, right?